Hi everyone and welcome back. As I mentioned in the first two videos, we've constructed the roads with balsa wood and made the railroad crossing with plaster. I've sanded it down with a wet paper towel and ground out the flangeways with my Dremel tool so that trains run smoothly over it and now it's ready for painting. For painting I just use acrylics. I use three different colors a black, a white, and an ochre color to give the road a little bit of a dirty tint and mix it all together. And then as you can see in the next picture, it does come out with some good layers of color. The finishing touch would be to coat everything with dry coat so that the paint doesn't peel off, especially on the plaster. For the lines on the road, I just used colored pencils and a straight edge to make sure that I took my time and got everything the way that it needed to be. And now the entire module is ready for some finishing touches. Okay, with all the little details done, we have a pretty completed module. You can see I added little things like the switch stand people in the backyard, the pole line, propane tank for the house, lots of people in signs and random little details along the storefront. Vending machines and trash cans along the depot, the approach signal, All in all, I think this turned out to be pretty good and it will definitely be a much better way to take videos while I'm building a layout. So I hope you guys have enjoyed following along as I built this and I hope it gave you some great ideas to build your own model railroad or module or whatever it is that you're working on because these are really inexpensive and easy way to do a layout or a module so let me know in the comments what you think let me know if you'd like to see any other kinds of tutorial kinds of things that I might be able to show you and I will see you next time